Welcome to the short Open VRAN demonstration with AltioStar and VMware. AltioStar's Open VRAN solution runs on VMware Telco Cloud Platform RAN to solve the lingering problems of traditional RAN deployments and disaggregate the RAN into a flexible, high-performance stack with open interfaces. AltioStar's Open VRAN is integrated and tested with VMware Telco Cloud Platform RAN to deliver a combined solution that lets you establish the next frontier of virtualization at the RAN. Meet the functional requirements of LTE and 5G RAN. Eliminate the rigid architecture and silos of traditional RAN deployments. Open the RAN interfaces and pave a path to a fully open RAN. Automate and optimize RAN technologies, deployment, and operations. Accelerate 5G applications and services innovations. Finally, convert the traditional RAN cell site from a cost center into a revenue-generating asset. This demonstration will showcase the provisioning and lifecycle management of AltioStar Open VRAN Distributed Unit, DU, and Centralized Unit, CU, network functions on VMware Telco Cloud Platform RAN using VMware Telco Cloud Automation and AltioStar's VEMS IR MASS. Out of the multiple possible open RAN, DU, and CU flexible deployment scenarios, we use zero-touch provisioning of a DU at the far edge, plus a combination of CU user plane and a CU control plane at the regional site. The prerequisites for this automated process are the provisioning of each site with the Telco Cloud software and the onboarding of AltioStar's network functions in the platform catalog. Now, let's start this process. This first portion will provision the Telco Cloud software stack using infrastructure automation, a crucial capability when you have a RAN scale deployment. The underlying hardware for these sites uses Intel Flex RAN architecture for optimal performance. The platform provides a complete end-to-end -end automation framework that allows the combination of infrastructure automation with CI-CD pipelines. Let us look at how we can initiate the automation process from a pre-configured CI-CD pipeline. The CI-CD pipeline initiates the deployment of a central site using TCA's infrastructure automation. First, we validate the global settings applied to every site, the software appliance configurations, their license keys, the image locations, and other security parameters. If we dive into this core site, you can review its configurations, the provisioned hosts, and appliances. The Detailed Tasks tab highlights any automated actions performed by the system. Applying automation to build sites can effectively reduce the deployment time of any site by 80% and more. The same provisioning process applies to both regional, edge, or cell sites. From here, you can view this process. Everything is successful. Let's move to the second prerequisite, which is to onboard the AltioStar network functions into the Telco Cloud Automation Catalog. Onboarding the network functions ensure that all the required artifacts are ready and the instantiation process is repeatable. Let us look at the network function configuration details for DU and CU. You can customize a network function infrastructure according to its unique requirements. Customizing the infrastructure enables you to update a cluster, instantiate, and deploy the network functions without manual user inputs. In addition to the traditional Helm chart, scripts, and network function artifacts, Telco Cloud Platform RAN provides new extensions to automate both Kubernetes nodes and VM customization during the network function instantiation. This customization process is called late binding. In the case of DU, this list of customizations can be extensive, from OS kernel modifications to precision time protocol setup to SRIOV. Late binding is a true lifesaver when deployment spans tens to thousands of instances. We will see more about this process during the instantiation phase of the network functions. Our Altio Stars network functions DU, CUUP, and CUCP are onboarded into the catalog. All the prerequisites are completed. Let's provision the network functions at each site. The zero touch provisioning process comprises of just seven simple steps. Step one. RF planning and inventory data is transferred from the OSS BSS to the VEMS. Step 2. Call home request of the radio unit to the VEMS IR mass. Step 3. The VEMS will trigger the CU and DU instantiation to Telco Cloud Automation. Step 4. Telco Cloud Automation will instantiate both network functions in the right sites. 
For steps 5 to 7, the VEMS will configure the CU, DU, and RU. Let us look at this process with a sample demo. First, the RU is powered on. When the RU call home reaches the IR mass, CNF creation request of CUCP, CUUP, and DU is triggered via LCM to the Telco Cloud Automation. In the IR mass UI, the state of the CUCP, CUUP, and DU is changed to instantiating, indicating that the CNF creation is in progress, which in turn will request Telco Cloud Automation to instantiate the DU, CUUP, and CUCP network functions at each required site. Telco Cloud Automation will proceed to the instantiations and adjust the Kubernetes nodes and VMs based on the specific network functions requirements through the late binding process. Once the CNFs are successfully instantiated, the state on the IR mass UI is changed to online. In the TCA UI, this is indicated by the network function state as instantiated and completed. All the microservices that are created as part of the network function instantiation are listed. Once IR mass receives call home requests from the CNFs, the configuration of the CUCP, CUUP, DU, and RU are pushed by IR mass. Now let us verify that the cell is in operational state. From DU logs, we see that the call home is established between DU and RU. From the logs, we see that the cell is going from configured to active state. Next, from Layer 1 logs, we can see that RX and TX frames are transmitted. On the FJRU console, we can see the frequency, bandwidth, and power at which the antenna is transmitting. Next, from IR Mass UI, cell up notification is seen. From ORU Planning Manager, ORU is set to power on state, which confirms that the cell is in operational state. Here we are with the complete open VRAN distributed implementation at two sites. Now that the infrastructure and network functions are deployed successfully, let's apply cloud automation for a day two operation like scale. You can scale your network function in or out by aspect or instantiation level. To scale a network function by aspect, upload the override file required. You can modify the override file to enable auto-scaling and increase the max replicas to a number you want to scale. Review the settings and click Finish to initiate the scale of the network function instance. Here, you can see the scale operation is successfully completed. In this short demonstration, we have provisioned two new sites to host AltioStar Open VRAN network functions, onboarded these functions into a centralized catalog for repeated deployment, provisioned them at each site, and finally, executed a scaling operation, all with automation using Altiostar VEMS IR Mass and VMware Telco Cloud Platform RAN, your path to the future of RAN. Thank you for attending.